In these examples, we're going to be looking at linear equations that have an x on both sides. So, with our first question, we've got 5x plus 3, and that equals 2x plus 11. Now, because we've got an x on both sides, we need to work out a way of setting it up so that we've got just one x on one side. So, what we need to do is look for the smallest x. Now, in this equation, our smallest x is 2x, because 5x is bigger than 2x. So, I need to get rid of my 2x, because I don't want it on this side. I only want to put my x's on one side, so I'm going to put them over there. So, how can I get rid of 2x? Well, we know it's plus 2x, so how do we get rid of plus 2x? We subtract 2x, because that's the inverse. So, the first thing I'm going to do is minus 2x from both sides. Okay, so... I'm going to rewrite this as 5x plus 3 minus 2x. And on this side, 2x plus 11 minus 2x is just going to end up as plus 11 because the 2x minus 2x gives me the 0, which is what I, what I wanted in the first place. So if I go back to this side, I've got 5x and a minus 2x, and they are common. So 5x minus 2x is going to give me 3x. And then I've got my plus 3 there. And that equals 11. So now I've got it in a form that I like and that I can use. So I've got times 3x, sorry, time x times 3, and I've got plus 3 on the end. So I want to get rid of that plus 3. How do I get rid of plus 3? A minus 3. And I'll do that from both sides. So, 3x plus 3 minus 3 is just going to be 3x. And on this side, we've got 11 minus 3. So, that simplifies as 3x equals 11 minus 3 is 8. Now, I've got 3x's, but I only want the 1x. So, how do I get rid of times by 3? I divide by 3. Do that to both sides. So, 3x divided by 3 is just going to give me x, because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then I'm going to have 8 over 3. And then I look and I say, well, how many 3's go into 8? That's going to be 2, because 2 times 3 is 6. So I've got 2 left over, and they are 2 thirds. So that is going to be my solution for the first question. Now if I look at this one, I've got 2x minus 6 on one side and 4x minus 19 on the other. So, as we did with the first one, I need to find the smallest x. So, I've got 2x and 4x. They're both positive. So, my smallest one is going to be 2x. So, how do I get rid of my positive 2x? Well, I subtract 2x. And I'm going to do that from both sides to keep my equations balanced. So, 2x minus 6 minus 2x is just going to be minus 6, because 2x minus 2x is just 0, which is what we wanted. And on the other side, we've got 4x minus 19 minus 2x. So, on this, now, on this side, we've got minus 6, and on that side, we need to simplify. So I've got a, my, a 4x and a minus 2x. Oops. So 4x minus 2x is just going to be 2x. We're happy with that. And then we've got our minus 19. Now, this equation is in slightly different form to the ones that we've been looking at so far. This time, we've got the 2x minus 19 on this side and the answer on that side, whereas if you look back at this example, we had the answer on the other side. But it doesn't make any difference because our x is in, in the front of this side. So we've got our x and then our constant. So we can still do exactly the same thing. We don't have to worry about the fact it's on the other side at the moment. So I've got 2 times x and then I'm taking away 19. 
How do I get rid of that minus 19? I'm going to add 19. So if I add 19 to both sides, I'm going to end up with minus 6 plus 19. And 2x minus 19 plus 19 is going to be 2x. Now, minus 6 plus 19 is going to be um, 13, sorry. And then I've got 2x on this side. Now I've got 2 times x, so I want to get rid of that times 2. How can I get rid of times 2? Divide by 2. And do that to both sides. So I've got 13 divided by 2 equals 2x divided by 2 is just going to be 1x, so just x. And I can change my 13 over 2 to be a mixed number. So how many 2 is going to 13? Well, that's going to be 6. And I've got 1 left over, and that's 1 half. And that gives me x. So it's always nice and tidy to have the x on the other side. So we can just rewrite that as x equals 6 and a half. And that is our solution to that question. Okay, Marie, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done.